With this whole COVID-19 thing, most people, I think, are self-isolating, staying at home. But some are having difficulty, even if they're doing that. So for those of you that think that this is kind of an all by myself, all alone thing, if you're in that position, I'd like to share a poem that was written by the, I guess maybe he was a Greek guy, because his name was Anana Mus. So like Claudius or Octavius, it's called There Is No Indispensable Man. Like so many poems, there's a message at the end. What I don't think is true is that there are many, many of us who think we are indispensable, but there are, I know, some of us who think that we have to be the most responsible. I'll talk a little bit more afterwards to give you Jock's thoughts on this particular poem. It goes like this. Sometime when you're feeling important, sometime when your ego's in bloom, sometime when you take it for granted you're the most qualified in the room, sometime when, you're f when you feel that you're going would leave an unfillable hole, just follow this quaint example and see how it humbles your soul. Take a bucket and fill it with water. Put your hand in it up to the wrist, pull it out, and the hole that's remaining is a measure of how much you'll be missed. You can splash all you wish as you enter. You can stir up the water galore. But wait, and in just a moment, it looks quite the same as before. The moral of this small example is be just the best that you can. Be proud of yourself, but remember, there is no indispensable man. So simply I would suggest, please, don't rely solely on yourself. Look beyond you, look to your partner, look to your spouse, look to your family, look to your friends. Not that you can get together with them physically, but reach out to them in whatever way you can. They are there for you. You be there for them. And when all the smoke clears and the dust settles, all will be well. Best wishes.